Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm Meezy69, welcome back to replays of the week. Yes, we've got two fantastic replays. Uh, we've got the Object 704 and we've got a really, really good Sheridan game. So, the first up we've got the Object 704. Now, this tank used to be really, really, really good. Uh, it doesn't have much armor profile, uh, but it used to be a very popular tank. Nowadays, you don't quite see it as often as as you once uh, did but because there's just so many other tanks to uh, to choose from but this game uh, this tank is all about in, in my opinion it's all about being in the right position at the right time and it's definitely a camper tank it's definitely a, you've got to camp in the tank um, because you don't have the armor profile I mean you've got the object 268 uh, which is the 10 uh, tier 10 version uh, that actually has got quite a bit good bit of armor on the uh, on the front plate uh, but this doesn't really have that you can get troll bounces of course like any tank uh, but it doesn't quite have the armor profile that the object 268 has got uh, so I wait I think this tank works better when you are in the camping position don't get front line um maybe later on in the battle yeah you can go front line and you can just deal damage uh but it's all about being patient being aware and just sitting at the back and helping your team that's what you need to do and that's how you get the best out of this tank but of course straight away two tanks are down the two platoon guys are down uh but the best thing about this game he's got the fe4005 uh ut from the BPS clan, so we already know he's a fantastic player. He's in the best clan ever, uh, only because I'm in BPS and it's uh, it is a great clan. But unfortunately, he gets rushed and he does get taken out. So uh, nice uh, HE there on the back chat to clear him, and it is now a four versus six. So it's still a long way to go, especially as the leopard there is low, the Type 71 is there, uh, very very low, and he's just sitting at the back here, and he. Uh, uh, he needs to save his hit points he definitely needs to save his hit points uh, but already it doesn't look good it doesn't look good for the green team so he's on 1.9k damage and here comes the e100 but he is going to go forward uh because he really wants to clear the conqueror uh but unfortunately does pretty much get wrecked from the e100 so it is now currently a two versus four this e100 is uh he's got a lot of hit points he does get a nice high roll there um it would be absolutely perfect if around about now he gets a bounce he gets a bounce because this is what he needs he needs a couple of bounces at least from this E100. But wait a minute. What the heck is this E100 doing? What why would you do why would you do that? I have no idea. And he's laugh out loud. Did he think it is already gonna be a win? Is he just I don't know because he shoots but he bounces i have no idea what this e100 was doing i think he actually thought it was going to be uh, a win for the red team that's why he's just like yeah you might as well uh, shoot me no idea what are you doing what is this guy doing no idea um but sadly it is uh there's still two tanks left and they are pretty much full hit points and one of them is of course the yag tiger which we know has fantastic uh, dpm uh, but it is still a two versus two luckily they still have the concept on the team currently um and he's now going to die so 4.8k damage he can take a shot from the yag tiger and it might be worth risking taking a shot from that yag, uh, yag to get the shot off on the death star or he could just back up and uh, wait and be patient and that's exactly what he's going to do he's going to wait he's going to ignore the yag tiger and he's of course going to go and go for the uh, the death star that's the right choice the death star can take him out the yag can't uh, and what a shot how did that even pen how did that even hit from there no idea but it did and he is now on four kills 1000 block damage and he's on 5.1k damage but there is still 1.9k damage up for grab here from the yag tiger uh, so it's not looking too good it's not looking too good for our guy here in the object 704 now what actually is uh is not so bad 
is of course the Jag Tiger doesn't have a turret so we will be able to get sort of behind him uh, but also he doesn't have a turret so he won't be able the Jag sort of be, will be able to do the same with him so it could actually turn into a stalemate game where they're both trying to get around each other uh, but of course the Jag Tiger has DPM but sadly <laughs> sadly for the red team he doesn't quite know how to use that DPM because he hasn't even penned a single shot he was full hit points and he hadn't even been able to pen a single shot. So yes, this was a fantastic game from the Object 704, but I put it in because it was quite funny and it could even be down as a sort of half uh, half replace of the week, half world of dummies, because that game was just silly. Then people on the enemy team were just silly. The E100, just no idea what he was doing. The Ag Tiger that was full hit points with 4,000 DPM, couldn't even pen an object 704 yeah g g but nevertheless a fantastic game from our guy cac uh more more deck uh it was still a good game next up now this is a, a truly amazing game in the sheridan and it's driven by a player three nine six four one seven five two eight zero now usually when you see these kind of players with this name and uh, no clan you automatically think yep he's a noob uh, but yeah i mean a lot of people nowadays have actually been changing their name to player something 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 so because people kind of ignore you or people already think you're you're a noob so they kind of don't go for you uh, and it really does shock that uh, people when you have a fantastic game uh, because you don't expect a player blah 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 to have a fantastic game but that is exactly what we are going to see here so of course he's gone to the middle here great position for spotting the enemy team and that's exactly what he's done he's spotting up these team the bat chat there the mouse and uh, he's already spotted a couple of other tanks as well sadly misses that shot into the bat chat uh, but he's not i don't think he's been spotted so he's just going to stay here for the reload uh, because there are still plenty of tanks around and the wz113 wants to be a hero there and he's just going to sit in the front and pretty much take the, the the shots for the sheridan which is fine because the sheridan don't have armor and uh, of course it's a light tank so he's just going to sit behind this uh this wz113 and just uh, make the most of it he's already now on 1000 damage hasn't taken any hit points to be fair the wz is in a good position he's sort of unless he angles like that he's still in a good position and now he gets a nice shot into the skoda now the enemy do have a cap point there so they're going to win on they're going to be winning on cap points the green team doesn't doesn't have any caps so you do have to bear that in mind but the wz here has started to lose a bit of hit points now of course the vickers is a tank that is very good it's got the mobility it's got the view range it's got everything it's got dpm it's got the speed um that will be a good tank to get rid of but he's now turning his attention to the skoda here and just as he gets there he does reload and manage to take him out for his first kill first kill uh so six versus six at the minute there goes the centurion so it is now a five versus six and they are still losing on supremacy points with no caps so he's now going to get behind the mouse he's going to pretty much ignore what's around him uh because if he stays here with the mouse there are three tanks all shooting this mouse and as we know a mouse has quite a lot of hit points so three tanks on one uh his hit points have actually come down very very quickly so he's going to leave that guy uh hopefully the object to deal with this mouse if he can but you can just see he's bouncing all these shots so he has to turn around and think like do i have to do everything myself uh but that is great for him because now that is two kills and uh, the kills are very important in this game and we are going to see why a bit later on so he didn't want to risk that shot against the bat chat he wants to clear him and he's going to use the he so he uh, he was patient there of uh, sadly the bat chat does use his repair kit he turns around whilst the sheridan's on a reload so of course he's going to run away because there's nothing he could do he doesn't want to take the three shots uh, the three shots from the the bat chat if he doesn't need to uh, he gets a nice uh, 
bounce there pretty much it was uh, a bounce doesn't lose too many hit points but it's still a three versus five there is still a lot of hit points uh, out there well now a two versus five and the enemy are almost on 700 supremacy points but there is a couple of tanks that is low hit points just the, the bat chat for one so he definitely needs to clear this bat chat i would ignore the heavies for now and maybe then clear the bat chat go and get a cap uh, go and get a base because uh, it's not going to look good if you're if you're able to win i hate being able to win but you lose because of supremacy points there's nothing annoy more annoying than that of course it's good if you're on that team that wins and it was supposed to be a loss uh, but yeah if you're able to win and you lose on supremacy points it is very very annoying so he's going to ignore them two guys now and go and try it and he's hardest to keep this e75 alive by clearing this amx 5120 so he's now brought it down to a two versus three now in my opinion he should be going to this base now he should be going to either uh, cap a uh, just to sort of get the points up a little bit because the enemy are almost now on 800 supremacy points so unless he ignores this gap uh, goes there nice shot there against the uh, bat chat unless he ignores a cap and retakes b so the enemy stop uh, getting the supremacy points that would probably be the better option but he's going to stay here for now the m103 is there the e75 is now a one shot he can still take a shot he can take one shot from each of these tanks well one shot that's it if he takes a shot from the m103 he's going to pretty much be a one shot to the m103 and the 60 tp but he's got to do something and what he's going to do now is take the attention of that m103 so that e75 can get that shot off where is the 60 tp no idea come on e75 take him out needs to take him out uh, but nope he does it the sheridan again has to do everything himself now that is six kills and pretty much eight thousand damage and now is probably the time to go to b but nope he doesn't want to he knows where the 60 tp is he is going to take a shot but now he is in a perfect position just to circle this guy the 60 tp is not able to do a single thing he has been caught out and now because of that there is nothing he can do this guy doesn't even need supremacy points yeah meh who cares about supremacy points seven kills he literally did all the work himself and it pays off he almost gets 9,000 damage 8,800 damage with seven kills and a well-deserved mastery badge so i hope you enjoyed today's uh, video guys if you did hit that subscribe button it does help me and the channel out and if you really want to help the channel out do become a patreon as well so i hope you enjoyed it i'm meaty and i'll catch you all soon bye bye